Hey guys, today we've got the Persona Q Shadow of the Labyrinth Wild Cards Premium Edition for the 3DS. Uh, so let's go ahead and get to it. I uh, see here the box is about twice the size of a standard uh, 3DS box in terms of height. Uh, it's much larger width wise, depth wise. Uh, see on the back, here's an overview of the contents. It includes the game itself, a soft shell case, the soundtrack CD, a 38 page art book, and the second set of tarot cards. The previous set was available in the Persona 4 Arena Ultimax edition, which I also got a copy of, but there wasn't really uh, much to it, so I didn't do an unboxing of it go ahead and get this open and check out everything that's inside of this. Okay. Um, oh, okay, this has a, this is actually a, a sticker. Well, it's not a sticker, it's a piece of paper that's stuck to the case. Um, okay. So, there we go. Here's the back of the case. This is uh, all a matte finish, which I actually really like. You see this uh, is styled after the Persona Q uh, assets. Got the protagonist up here, some other characters. Um, overall, I really like the feel of this a lot actually just because it's got that sort of uh, texture to it. Let's slide everything out all in one go. Standard cardboard box. Here is the game case. It's a regular copy of the game. So there's that. Here is the soft shell case for the 3DS. up. Um, you'll see it's a nice uh, soft shell case. It's got kind of a uh, 70s vibe to it with the lettering and the colorways. The whole cast here. That's I, I just really like this. Um, so here's the top. Here's the bottom and the uh, little pouch. Zip that up, and the uh, the toggles are little exclamation points in case you did not notice that. So that's a, kind of a cool touch. Um, here's the art book. Uh, again, it has a kind of a matte finish. The uh, logo itself is a, a smoother feel, and it's got the uh, um, reflective spider web. We'll go ahead and go through this. If you can read that, go ahead and pause the video and check that out. Okay. Brief overview of all the characters. The art style on this is really cool. Um, I feel like it's a nice mixture of different styles from the original uh, P3 and P4 and kind of like a chibi version. DLC personas, well that's good they have that in mind. I like that they included Orpheus, Telos. Um, okay. Some in game assets. <laughs> so I, I think that's just a great picture. Um, and then, there we go. Oh, sorry. 
So that's actually really cool. Um, if they had a deluxe version of this, I would definitely buy it just based on this. Here's the uh, OST, the music CD. Oh, this only has four tracks on it, you'll see here. It's got Maze of Life, Light the Fire, Laser Beam, and Best Friend. Um, cardboard slipcase, but uh, it is nice looking, so there's that. And then the uh, second pack of tarot cards, which I'm not going to open because uh, I would like to do just a full overview of all the cards at once, maybe in another video, kind of like uh, with the Final Fantasy Tactics uh, tarot cards. So that's everything in the Persona Q Shadow of the Labyrinth Wild Cards Edition for the Nintendo 3DS. Thank you guys for checking it out. Uh, we'll have more unboxings in the future. Uh, if you enjoyed it, please like and leave a comment. Subscribe if you want to see more. And that's it.